Elon Musk just unveiled Groke 3, and he wasn't kidding when he said it's scary good. In just a few months, XAI has caught up with OpenAI, and the results are insane. But is Groke 3 really the smartest AI in the world, or is this just marketing hype? Let's separate fact from fiction. All right, so Elon Musk just made a huge claim Groke 3 is the smartest AI in the world. And yeah, I know, every new AI model comes with big promises. But this, this might actually be real. Look, AI has been leveling up for years, but let's be honest, most of them were just really good guessers. They could spit out answers, sure, but they didn't actually understand anything. They'd beat humans at chess, win Jeopardy, generate text that sounded smart, but at the end of the day, they were still just fancy pattern matching machines. But that's where Groke 3 changes everything. We're not just talking about better text generation. We're talking real reasoning, real intelligence, and actual problem solving. This is an AI that just responds it thinks. And that's where Groke 3 comes in. It's claiming to overcome these limitations. To be more than just a sophisticated pattern matching machine. To be intelligent. And the data, at least on the surface, seems to support this claim. We're talking about significant improvements across multiple benchmarks. Not just incremental gains, but substantial leaps. And as I've mentioned repeatedly, Grok3 and Grok3 Mini are outperforming the current leaders in the AI field. GPT-40, Gemini 2, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and DeepSeek V3. These are the models that were, just a few weeks ago, considered the state of the art. And Grok3 is leaving them in the dust. Alright guys, let's talk numbers, because Grok3 stats are straight up insane. This chart right here shows how it performs, but remember, this is just the non-thinking model. First up, the AIM-24, the American Invitational Math Exam. And this ain't your VAMLAS times tables. This is brutal university-level stuff. Groke 3? A 52. 50 freaking 2. GPT-40. OpenAI's supposed best? A measly 39. Claude 3.5 Sonnet? 36. DeepSeek V3? The Chinese contender? 16. Even Groke 3 Mini, the little sibling, clocks in at 40 beating out GPT-4-0. It's like Grok-3 went to a math Olympics and brought home all the gold. Then there's science, the GPQA, graduate level question answering. Grok-3, 75. Gemini-2 Pro, 65. Claude and GPT-4-0, also 65. DeepSeek V3, 59. Grok-3 Mini is practically tied with the big dogs at 73. We're talking about an AI that's potentially smarter than your average PhD in some of these fields. And finally, coding the leak code benchmark, the proving ground for programmers. Grok 3, 57. A massive jump from Gemini 2 Pro at 41, DeepSeek at 40, and Claude and GPT-4 at 36 and 34. It's not even a contest. It's like Grok 3 is playing 4D chess while everyone else is stuck on checkers. This isn't just better. This is a whole new ball game for software development, automation, heck, maybe the whole tech world. All right, now this is where things get really interesting. This chart right here shows the performance of the thinking model. Let's look at the scores. Math, AIM 24. Grok 3 reasoning beta explodes to a 96. This is astronomical. It's almost perfect. Grok 3 mini reasoning the smaller model still manages an incredible 93. Compare that to 03 mini high at 87, 01 at 83. DeepSeek 1 at 80, and Gemini 2 flash thinking at 73. The gap is enormous. It's like Grok 3, with reasoning enabled, is playing a different game entirely. Science. GPQA. Grok 3 reasoning beta hits 85. Grok 3 mini reasoning is close behind at 84. Again, these are significantly higher scores than the competition. Coding. Grok 3 reasoning beta reaches 80. Grok 3 mini reasoning is at 79. Even on coding tasks, where you might think raw pattern matching would be sufficient, reasoning makes a huge difference. The takeaway here is crystal clear. Reasoning is the key to unlocking the next level of AI performance. It's not just about throwing more data at the problem. It's about giving the model the ability to think, to reason, to understand. And Grok3's reasoning capabilities, they're, well, they're off the charts. They're in a different dimension. This chart represents the results of the chatbot arena a platform where users can chat with different AI models without knowing which model they're talking to. It's a blind test, and it's a crucial test, because it's not just about benchmarks, it's about user experience. It's about how well the model interacts with humans. And look at the top of the chart. Chocolate, early growth 3, with an ELO rating of 1400+. plus. It's significantly higher than any other model. Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking Express, 
0121 is in second place, followed by chat GPT-40, latest 20,250,129, and a whole host of other models. What does this mean? It means that, in real world, conversational scenarios, Grok3 is consistently providing better, more helpful, more engaging responses than any other AI model currently available. It's not just about acing tests. It's about being a good conversationalist. And Grok3, it's apparently a master of the art. So we've established beyond a shadow of a doubt that Grok3 is exceptionally good at, well, everything. Okay, so Grok3 is a theoretical marvel, a benchmark-busting, reasoning-powered behemoth. But what does it do? What are the practical applications? How will it impact our lives? That's where Deep Search comes in. This is potentially the most disruptive aspect of the Grok3 announcement, because it's not just about answering questions, it's about reimagining the way we access and interact with information. Imagine a world where you don't have to sift through pages and pages of Google results, where you don't have to worry about clickbait, SEO spam, or biased sources, where you can simply ask a question, and an AI will not only find the answer, but also verify it, cross-check it, and present it to you in a clear, concise, and unbiased way. That's the promise of Deep Search. It's a next-generation AI search engine that leverages Grok3's reasoning capabilities to provide a fundamentally better search experience. It doesn't just find links. It understands your query, fact-checks, and cross-verifies sources. No more sketchy info or biased results. It digs deep to find the truth. And the best part? It actually shows you how it got there. No black box, no guessing, just clear, transparent reasoning. This could replace traditional search, fight misinformation, speed up research, and help people make smarter decisions. Basically, it's like having an expert researcher in your pocket. In short, deep search has the potential to revolutionize the way we access and interact with information. It's a bold claim, but based on what we've seen so far, it's a claim that's worth taking seriously. So what does all of this mean? Where are we headed? What are the long-term implications of Grok3 and the advancements it represents? Well, one thing is certain. AI is evolving at an astonishing rate. The benchmarks we use today, they might be completely irrelevant in a few months. We're talking about models that are learning, adapting, and improving at a pace that's frankly unprecedented. And agents and reasoning-based AI are the future. This isn't just about chatbots that can answer simple questions or generate witty responses. This is about AI that can think, reason, and solve complex problems autonomously. This is about AI that can act in the world, make decisions, and even create. And Grok3 is at the vanguard of this revolution. It's not just keeping pace, it's setting the pace. And with its continuous training and daily updates, it's only going to get better, faster, more capable. So there you have it, Grok3. A benchmark-shattering, reasoning-powered, potentially paradigm-shifting AI model. A model that's not just pushing the boundaries of what's possible, it's redefining them. We've looked at the data, we've explored the technology, we've considered the implications. And what's the verdict? Well, it's complicated. On the one hand, Grok3 represents a stunning achievement, a testament to human ingenuity and the power of innovation. It's a glimpse into a future where AI can help us solve some of the world's most pressing problems. From climate change to disease to poverty. On the other hand, it also raises some profound questions. Questions about the future of work, the distribution of wealth, the nature of intelligence, and even the survival of our species. Are we on the verge of a technological utopia? Or a dystopian nightmare? Or something in between? I don't have all the answers. Honestly, I don't think anyone does. But I do know this. We need to be paying attention. We need to be engaged. We need to be asking the hard questions. And we need to be preparing for the future. Because... Whether we're ready or not, the AI revolution is here. So I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Grok3? What are your hopes and fears about the future of AI? What questions are you grappling with? Let me know in the comments. This is a conversation that we all need to be a part of. And as always, if you made it this far, and wow, if you did, you're a trooper. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And seriously, subscribe. Because the AI world is moving at warp speed, and you absolutely do not want to miss what's coming next.